guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to self-isolation vlog week eight. We're gonna get into the vlog in just a moment, but I did wanna let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, which I'm really excited about. You guys know I love Skillshare and I'm actually working with them for the rest of the year, which I'm really excited about because it's a website that I actually really, really like and I believe in and I use all the time and I think it'll be beneficial for a lot of you guys as well. It's a great place to learn more about things you already love, but it's also a great place to explore creative outlets that you might want to be looking into. Like for instance, yesterday I took a class on how to draw watercolor on my iPad and Bradley has been watching videos on how to make pasta from scratch. I've been watching plant videos, trying to learn more about my tomato plant and all that stuff. But yeah, I wanted to tell you about Skillshare and how you can get a two month premium membership for completely free. So if you are unaware of what Skillshare is, it is a online learning community where they have classes on pretty much everything. They have classes on all things homemaking, which is mostly what I like to watch. So cooking, cleaning, gardening, Pretty much anything you're into, they all have a class on it. And it's also really nice in these times where we're stuck indoors, if there's something that you've been wanting to explore, maybe something creative wise, like I, like I said, I've been learning how to do watercolor on my iPad. Maybe you want to rearrange the furniture. You could watch some classes on interior design. It's just a really great tool to use while we're stuck indoors and we have all this extra time and we have time to learn. Classes are set up in a really easy way. They're for all skill levels. If you want to stop the class and come back to it at another point, they have chapters that make it really easy to do so. And Skillshare is very kindly offering a free two month premium membership to the first 1,000 people that click the link down in my bio. And even if after that you want to continue, it is very cost effective. It is under $10 a month for a yearly subscription. So I highly recommend you check it out. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. And let's go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog. Hello, friends. Happy Monday. You can see how messy the table is. My dog's back there chewing on a Trader Joe's bag because I just returned from Trader Joe's. I just had like a freaking two hour excursion outside. So we needed to go to a store today. Um, Trader Joe's is like the hardest to get into, but I was like, you know what? I can get all of what I need at Trader Joe's and they have new items. So I'm just gonna wait it out. It took me about 30 minutes in the line, which like it's been worse. So yeah, we just took everything out of the bag. I thought I would give you a very informal uh, grocery haul very quickly. I'm a little hesitant to do this because of judgment. Can't judgment speak. about what? Like, oh, you got too much, or why'd you get that? Or I don't know, people are weird about food. So just keep your freaking judgment to yourself. But okay, so let's just go through it. Well, first I made sure. piles everywhere. So here is um, the non-refrigerated produce. We have garlic. I don't know why I got one outside the bag and one inside the bag. Lots of Bartlett pears, because we've been obsessed. Um, honey crisp apples and then red bell peppers. I also got some Gerber daisies, my fave. Here's like all the pantry items, lots of new stuff. I was so hoping they'd still have this and they did. This is the organic watermelon fruit spread. I, it's like jelly, right? I, I believe that's what it's intended to be. So I am so excited to try that. Another new item, tomato ketchup with black summer truffle. I am a huge truffle fan, Bradley is not, but I will give this a try. Dish soap, we got, I, they had lasagna noodles, so I picked those up because we have ground turkey. Um, this is new, it's the Many Things Snack Mix, which it just looked incredible, so I got that. Um, some other jelly, some just strawberry jelly, baking powder, baking soda, we were all out of that, so I was happy they had that. Bradley loves these peanut butter bars. Avocados don't, okay, this pile is messed up, but whatever. <laughs> Avocados. Fresh cut mango, it has to look juicy and it did today, so I got it. Chocolate chips for baking. My sister has a bag of flour that she is not gonna use, so she's gonna give it to us. Flour, we cannot find it right now, but I did find chocolate chips. Cashews, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, Bradley's Everything Bagels. I got two things of my um, tea tree cleansing pads because I just ran out last night. We love these, I got the last bag of garlic and cheese breadsticks. They're so good. We heat them up a little bit in the oven and they freeze really well as well, so that's great. Bradley's peanut butter pretzels and Bradley's Fritos. These were new as well. These sprinkles walked into a cookie sandwich, which Bradley wants to try immediately, and I want to try one too. Um, I love honey mustard pretzels, and they have them now at Trader Joe's. This was a new item. Like I said, they didn't have flour, but they had this buttermilk pancake mix, and it says all-purpose baking mix, so I figured Bradley, if he wants to, he can make biscuits or, I don't know, whatever he's been wanting to bake. Potatoes. And I think I mentioned everything here. I was talking to my sister and she loves the chicken chow mein. The last two times she's gone, they've been out of it. So I picked her up some bags. So this is Katie's pile. Then we have some frozen stuff. We tried this, I think a couple of weeks ago. We bought it on a whim, we loved it. So I got two bags, it's the tempura chicken. It's, it's kind of like orange chicken, but more of like a sweet and sour sauce situation. Cream cheese. Um, I got blueberry waffles this time. I usually just get like the grain waffles or whatever, but those are good too. Strawberries. 
We love this ravioli, ricotta and lemon zest and it freezes really well. Got some corn for over the next couple of days. Probably wanted green beans. I got my organic Caesar mix, a bag of arugula. Um, somebody else had this in their cart and it looked so good, so I got it and we had some with lunch. It was delicious. Um, some Greek yogurt, unexpected cheddar cheese, eggs, diced onions, milk, um, two packs of my favorite sausages, the sun-dried tomato chicken sausage, and then some Mexican cheese blend. So yeah. Hey guys, so tonight is a full moon and it's the flower full moon which basically just means that um, they name full moons in May the flower full moon because flowers are abundant and to celebrate spring. But I just love that it's the flower full moon because I love flowers. So seeing that I had a little bit of a leg up on the full moon, like I knew it was coming tonight, I decided to charge my crystals, which let me move the camera. So I have some of my crystals right here, not all of them. And maybe later on in this vlog, I can sit down and go through like what kinds of crystals I like and my favorite ones and the ones I have. But for now, we're just going to put them in some salt. So basically how you charge crystals is you put them in a bowl of salt, you situate them in there, you leave them in the moonlight of the full moon, and then they're supposed to be charged. All the bad or any, any sort of energy that's in them kind of drains into the salt and they come out fresh and new. So. Um, I did this the last full moon to a few of my crystals and I thought it was really fun and interesting so I'm gonna do it again. So I just thought I would bring you along on the journey as I do. So let's go ahead and do it. Happy 
Saturday. It's actually a bit later on in the day. Um, we've just been hanging out. Um, I, I went on a walk this morning, tried to take a nap. That didn't work out. Bradley is, I was gonna say balls deep, <laughs> just so inappropriate, but he's balls deep into Breaking Bad. And I just came in here, oh, I was editing a selfie. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> well, whatever, there I am. I was editing a selfie that I just posted on Instagram, so go give it a like. But I just came in here to show you yet again another Lush haul, so let's go ahead and get into that. But other than that, I think I'm gonna play on FaceTime with my friend to play Animal Crossing in a little bit. Then I think we're making pasta from scratch tonight. We got the pasta attachment for the KitchenAid, and I think it's happening, so yeah. And my cute shirt says Me Day on it. Sorry for the boob shot, but it is what it is. I got this at Uniqlo like years ago and kind of forgot about it. And I found it today and I was like, oh, it's so cute. I love that there's like nail polish and watermelons. Let's go ahead and get into the Lush haul. Okay hey guys, so here it is. I ditched the box for this one. So just thought I'd show you what I got. So starting with my Grease Lightning. I've been out of this for a while and I was missing it. This is like my spot treatment of choice. It's a tea tree and aloe kind of like gel. Um, it is a bit like drying, like when you feel it on your face. So I don't put it everywhere. So I use it as a spot treatment, but it really, really does work. Um, so I put this on after like any toner, let it dry completely so it dries down. And then I go with my moisturizer. So picked up one of these. Bradley loves this as well. And then I think pretty much all of these are bath bombs in which you guys, I have another order coming, which is even more bath bombs. I'm really set on um, bubble bars, but bath bombs I was not set on, I mean, cause you know, my friend Kayla works at Lush and she kind of told me that nothing has been made since March. Everything that people are buying is being shipped back like inventory from their stores. Um, and once they're out, they're out. Like they're not in factories right now. And I really didn't want to run out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy some more. Just be stocked. So I have another order of bath bombs coming in after this. But we'll start with this. So this is the dinosaur bath bomb, which did not come broken this time, so exciting. So I believe this smells like matcha and something else. I loved this bath bomb. I, I got this in an earlier haul, it was broken, but it, I mean, obviously it still worked fine. Put it in the tub, it was incredible. So I instantly wanted another one and I'm excited that it didn't come broken this time. We're not focused, are we? Never focused. But how cool is he? He's so cute. Smells great and it was kind of like a like a thicker foam when it was like disintegrating. It was just great. So if you're ordering, I would highly suggest this one. I loved it. Another repeat is Flight. I totally loved this one. Um, again, I have no idea what it smells like. It kind of smells similar to the strawberries and cream bath bomb, which is my favorite. Kind of vanilla-y and fruity. And it was just beautiful and I loved the way it smelled. So I wanted another one of those. I got a Butterball because they're my favorite. I did have quite a few Butter Bears. Use those all up. Butterball is probably my, like my, in my top three bath bombs. It's just the best. So ordered one of those. This one will leave, I know it looks kind of boring, but it will leave your skin the most moisturized of any of these bath bombs. So, and it smells like cocoa and vanilla. It smells incredible. And then I got two of the rose butterflies. This I think came out at Valentine's day and I was so amazed with it. First of all, it smells incredible. Oh my God. It smells so good. It smells like Oh, Alexa, be quiet. It smells kind of like creamy rose, which sounds weird, but it is delightful. And it's one of the most beautiful, like visually bath bombs I've ever seen in the tub. So when I saw these were back in stock, I ordered two because I love them. So I got two of those just to prove it. I'll show it to you. <laughs> Ooh, and they come in beautiful variations. Look at that. That's gorge. They just smell so good. They're making this room smell so good. So that was a quicker little haul for you, but you can expect another one in, I don't know when it'll get here, the next vlog or the vlog after that. So sorry if you're tired of blush, but if you're wanting more, I got you covered. So yeah, I'm gonna take a bath tonight and use probably a rose butterfly because I have two, but yeah, that's my little Lush haul.
do you say? Casio e Pepe? Not my, um, uh, I did better so, with the dough this time. The dough was good. The, the noodles were sticky. Let us know if you have tips. The noodles were sticky when they came out. So it's like, we have clumps. But I mean, besides that, it should taste pretty good. But yeah, let us know if you have any tips. He also made so much, I'm not gonna eat all that. We're gonna have leftovers, but it was fun using the pasta maker. So yeah, please let me know any tips you have down below. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. I don't think we've addressed your head. I shaved my head. We did it. Well, I didn't do anything, Bradley did it. It feels really good. The quarantine look. I think he looks really hot. We're getting some comments that they look that he, they think he looks like a 12 year old. Oh uh, yes, I am getting comments out there about River Phoenix and Stand By Me. I don't think he looks younger, I think he looks manlier. I'm, I'm going for Brad Pitt and Mr. and Mrs. Smith and instead I look like a 12 year old. No, I think you look great. Thank it's you. All right? Or Justin Timberlake and Justify it. Yeah. Like that. yeah. <laughs> um, but hi guys, happy Sunday, happy Mother's Day. We are cooking dinner, we've had a very chill day. Had our cheeseburgers, I watched Spider-Man, played some Animal Crossing. You know. I need to play more Animal Crossing. I tried to take out Ludo, but he peed before I got to him, but that doesn't matter. So, we are now making dinner. Um, we had corn the other night, and this is, okay, well we made this the other night in the food processor. This is red pepper butter. It's a Pioneer Woman recipe. I can link the recipe down below. Um, but we made it the other night because I bought a four pack of corn. So we're just using the rest of it up. We're just putting it in, oh, inside the foil packet. And then you just wrap it up and then it melts all over it. You can add more on top as well if you want. I'm gonna have chicken. Barely apparently is gonna have green beans. And I, a long time ago, used to have this like Greek yogurt potato salad which I think I adapted from a Pioneer Woman recipe. I did a video on it, which I know. I did a video on it, which we just watched it and I look so young and I sound, my voice sounds so high, but whatever, that's besides the point. I just watched it to like remember how to make it. So I'm gonna make that. So I hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Hope you had a good Mother's Day if you're a mother. And even if you're not, hope you had a good Mother's Day. But uh, yeah, Ludie, you have anything to say? Do you say happy Mother's Day to all you moms? Happy Mother's Day, love Ludie. <laughs> You guys, he's so big now. Tomorrow he'll be, how much? 14 weeks? 14. And two weeks till we can take him out for walks, which we're like really excited about. So that we all can get out of the house at the same time. Let some steam off, as you can see, he's very into biting. Okay, let go! Ouch! So, there's Ludi. But uh, yeah, a lot of things to say, so see ya. Goodbye! <laughs> Do you love the garbage? I love the trash! Good boy! Look at that white little spot on us. It's so cute. Oh, do you want some pepper? You would hate pepper. Seasoning the chick. I just never turned off the camera, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye. You gotta poop? Do you need to poop? Okay, you'll just stay out there. I wanted to give you guys a quick garden update. Don't mind our dead sod. We are getting rid of this tomorrow because we ordered a potty pad that like is fake grass on Amazon because this worked out okay, but it died, um, obviously. But look at my tomatoes. I like didn't even know I had tomatoes going. I was inspecting this plant the other day and then I noticed like, oh, I have tomatoes. And this plant wasn't doing very well, but I watered it more and it looks much better. I got rid of all the brown leaves. We had to move it up here because I got comments that potato, or not potato, tomato leaves are poisonous for dogs, so we moved it up to where he can't get it. Um, but I have a bigger one deep in here, if you can see that. So it's very exciting. I just saw a new one as well. Where did I see that? Oh, up here. So exciting, so cute. And another baby one coming in. I would love to just have like a bush full of tomatoes out here that we can pick. I was watching some videos on Skillshare about tomatoes, but my issue is I don't know what kind of tomatoes these are because I got it at Costco and it just said tomato cage. Didn't say what kind. I think they're gonna be obviously bigger than cherry tomatoes by the looks of this one. Um, so we'll see, but I think that's going pretty well. I got my thyme, some basil, rosemary down there, which is doing better in the shade. I did buy some oregano, but it's dying. I didn't have another pot for it. Ludi, are you upset you can't be outside? Guys, what, what's happening? I'm not there. <laughs> the lemon tree is looking so much better. Um, it was looking, I don't know if we're gonna get lemons because it should have already like bloomed by now. We are getting some blooms, but I'm just happy it's like looking better. So I guess we'll see what happens. My parsley, which isn't looking great, but. Good boy, you just wait right there. Um, I have a pepper plant, which is massive and falling over and I need to figure out, well, first of all, I need to put more soil because you're not supposed to be able to see the root, but I need to figure out some sort of stick situation so I can stake it up. Um, but yeah, the parsley, like I said, uh, coming, coming your way there, babe. Sure. Well, get out of the way. Oh. 
<laughs> so you wanted me to like stand in front and talk? No, no. I think we are gonna get limes this year. So we have a bunch of limes. Here's my prize possession right here. What if it like fell off because I touched it too hard? Um, but I think we are gonna have limes. If anybody knows what this means, why they're like kind of yellow, I think I'm watering it too much, but let me know. My arugula failed. We're not even gonna look at that. You're basically admitting like, hey, I'm not the best at like no, taking care I'm... of my things. If you out there tell me how to do it for me. This is, a, I don't know anything of what I'm doing at all. Like I literally just started and I do it by trial and error. Is I there learned... usually somebody out there too that like answers your- So many people. That's amazing. Yeah, a lot of people have lime trees and they'll be able to tell me what the heck I'm doing wrong. But there's a little garden update. Is this vlog over tomorrow, tonight? Oh uh, yeah, this yeah, is the last night. I was gonna say, night. we're gonna clean up here tomorrow. You could get that. Yeah, I'll do a time lapse of us clean. I already told them oh, that's going tomorrow. We're, um, we're gonna do a deep clean out here. So, uh, you look cute. Thank you. Hey, are you okay in there? No, what are you guys doing? We're powwowing outside, you but are you are so big. He's massive. He gains two. What is it? Point two pounds. Half, half a pound every two days. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> okay. We just finished watching a Defunct Land video. Everyone out there, check out Defunct Land on YouTube. His videos are incredible. They are really great. I I talked about that in my like I did a, like oh. I did like a quarantine faves, and I mentioned that channel. If you're into Disney, and even if you're not, it's just like an interesting. I uh, uh, do you love uh, Halloween? Get your paws off the screen. But anyway, check out Defunct Land, and I gotta go make my potato salad. Put your paws off the screen. Hey, buddy, move. Good boy. But yeah, we'll check in in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm quickly popping in to the end of this vlog. It's actually the next week, but um, I meant to film this yesterday or the day before and I just never did. So I was like, you know what, I'll sit down and do it really quick before I edit it and upload it and all that. But I've been promising you guys for a while, like a little bit of a crystal collection situation in which I don't have that many. I mean, to the newbie, I do have a lot, but like I know people have like way more and I barely know what I'm talking about. I mainly got into them because I liked the way they looked, but now I do love the like whole earthly vibe property of them. So I just thought I would share what I have, what I use them for, and yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a very informal crystal um, collection, maybe someday when it grows, because I do want it to grow quite a bit. So my very favorite crystal, and the first crystal we'll talk about is rose quartz, and I actually have several rose quartzes. So I have three Rose Quartz Towers. This one is much darker. And I think that there's like even a different name if it's darker, um, but I don't remember. But I have three Rose Quartz Towers. And then I have like countless little tiny Rose Quartz babies. So Rose Quartz is a very popular crystal. Um, the way I like to look at it is a self-love crystal. I can read the exact definition of like what it does. It says it's the stone of universal love. It restores trust and harmony in relationships, encouraging unconditional love purifies and opens the heart at all levels to promote love, self-love, friendship, deep inner healing, and feelings of peace. So I just think all in all, it's like a great crystal to start with. Many of you have seen this crystal many times. I actually kind of bought this as a 30th birthday gift to myself when we went to Joshua Tree for one of my best friend's weddings, which I did a whole vlog on our weekend there. I can link it up in the corner. And yeah, I saw this in a crystal shop. I actually took a lot of pictures of it. I wasn't really sure about crystal pricing, um, so I wasn't sure if it was like overpriced or anything, but then we actually left that crystal shop. I did some research, asked around some friends, they're like, no, that's a great price for that big of a crystal, so I went back and I got it. So this is my favorite, I leave it by my bed. And I will say now, I am aware that I'm into the phallic shaped crystals, it's not. <laughs> I just like the ones that they can stand on their own because as much as they are like a healing like energy thing I love the way they look so I wanted them to be like home decor as well so loudness so this is the mama crystal this is my favorite crystal but then like I said I do have two other rose quartz towers and I also get a lot of questions as to where I get my crystals all over the place so like I said this one I got at I think it was called like Joshua Tree Rocks or something um, in Joshua Tree and then I've been to downtown LA they have a great crystal kind of um, row downtown where there's several shops and I got several of these there. That's where I got these two rose quartz towers for great prices. So if you're in LA, once the quarantine is over and you want crystals, downtown is the place to go. Um, but I just love how beautiful they are. They're kind of like see-through. I have a rose quartz skull that I believe my mom, or maybe my sister gave me this. My mom and my sister gift me a lot of, um, I keep wanting to say oils, but crystals. So if I mess that up, that's what's happening. So I love my little skull. I have a couple just random chunks of it, which are good for like in your pocket if you want to have it on you all day on an airplane or something like that. And then a while ago, I bought that KKW um, Crystal Gardenia pink fragrance and it came with like a few pieces of rose quartz. And I wasn't even into crystals back then, but I thought they were so pretty that I kept them. And now I'm glad I did. 
Next up we have Fluorite, I believe, and I just recently got this on Etsy. One of my favorite things to do, especially when I can't sleep, is just peruse Etsy of all the crystals. Um, so I'll type in like crystal towers because that technically is what I like. So I found this one on Etsy for I believe around $25 and like for a tower this size I thought that was really good. And I just loved the purple veining in it. I thought it was so beautiful. It's kind of like see-through seafoam green. I just thought it was such a pretty color. So I'm going to read what it says about fluorite. It absorbs and neutralizes negative energy and stress. An excellent learning aid. Fluorite increases our powers of concentration, self-confidence, and helps us in decision making, which I'm a Libra, I can use that. It encourages positivity, balances the energies, and improves balance and coordination both physically and mentally. So um, I think this is like a pretty wide-ranged Crystal, if I'm not mistaken, like they come in all different colors, but I really liked this one, so I got that on Etsy. Probably my second favorite crystal is Obsidian. This is my Obsidian Tower. I also have a tiny little Obsidian that I can keep in my pocket if I want to. And I'll read like the exact definition and the properties in a second, but I like this for warding off negativity. I know that that's what it does. I mainly like it just because it's like pure black and shiny and I love black things <laughs> but I love this thing I kind of want a massive and I think I'm gonna eventually get myself one but I want a massive obsidian tower for in here um, if you saw on my Instagram stories I am currently going through exposure therapy which hopefully one day down the line we can talk all about that I'm not ready to talk about it yet but I did post that I brought in my rose quartz in my obsidian rose quartz for self-love during the process and my um, obsidian to ward off negative thoughts so um, I eventually want like a, I would like a chunk of obsidian in every single room in the house um, just because like I believe in warding off the negative vibes but I mainly want one for in here so I don't, because I, I keep those two in my bedroom because I definitely want it in the bedroom. Um, I like to surround my crystals while I sleep <laughs> but I want a big tower in here so that I don't have to carry it back and forth and I can have negative expelling crystals all over the apartment but I love obsidian you guys this one I don't even know what it's called I believe maybe it's opalite I bought this one purely because I liked the way it looked because it's crazy it's like it kind of has like a milky neon yellow teal green but then if you hold it up to light you can like see through it and it's kind of like orange and yellow it's freaking cool yes this is opalite so this one improves communication it removes energy blockages of the chakras now I don't know a ton about the chakras and all that I would love to get more into that I'm trying to get more into meditating which is kind of all part of uh, my CBT therapy just when it comes to mindfulness. I would like to be better at meditating. Right now, I, I honestly can't stand it. <laughs> but I would like to be one of those people that can totally meditate and zone out and kind of refresh throughout the day. It says, Opalite helps by assisting during transitions of all kinds. It engenders persistence and gives us strength in verbalizing our hidden feelings. So that one's cool. I didn't even know that. I just liked the way it looked. This one, I believe, is called Desert Jasper. So it is the stone of exuberance, vitality, and vibrancy. And there's a couple of different like jasper situations. They're all kind of like earthy tones. This one's kind of like a salmon pink with gray running throughout it. I got this one downtown as well. Um, I just thought it was so pretty so I picked that up and it sits up there on that shelf and I totally love it. This one I believe is orange calcite. See this is why I haven't done a crystal like collection because I have no idea what I'm talking about but I got so many questions and I get so many messages like almost weekly on Instagram by multiple people asking to talk about this because they want to get into it themselves. We'll, we'll circle back to that. Yes, this is orange calcite. Orange calcite helps integrate the spiritual realm with the physical body, enhances creativity, and is helpful with emotional issues. I leave this one in here in the office because I did know it was good for like creativity. I was looking at this crystal for a while and it was expensive so it's probably best I didn't buy it. I was waiting for it to go on sale on Etsy. It was a huge like I think like twice the size of this one for a great price. Um, but it was a huge orange calcite tower that I really wanted to just put somewhere in here for like, cause this is where I work, this is where I try to be creative and get the creative juices flowing. Um, so that's why I leave this one in here, but I just thought it was so pretty. I got this one downtown as well. It's in more of like a rock foundation, but it still like sits up on its own. But I thought the white and gray veining throughout it was so cool. So yeah, we have that one. And then all that's left is kind of just tiny ones. I got this one downtown. I have no idea what it is. Um, but it's really pretty, so I got that one. It just sparkles so nicely. And a lot of you guys have seen, I leave a lot of these tinier crystals right here on the windowsill. And some of them can't be in the sunlight, so if you have a crystal collection, maybe look up which ones can't be in the sun, because obviously it's a windowsill, it's in the sun. But this one in the sun is so pretty. I have a little amethyst kind of chunk, um, which I'm, I want an amethyst tower. I love lavender, like the color itself. I know that lavenderite is a thing as well. I don't know if they're the same thing. 
Um, but I, I think I got this chunk for free at one of the stores downtown where I was buying crystals, and I just like the way um, this one sits up on his own as well. This one I'm pretty sure is a fake crystal, but I got it in Pandora at Disney World, and I just thought it was really pretty. But I think it's like fake because that just does not look real. But it still reminds me of Disney World and my trip with my family, so that was fun. Me, my mom, and my sister all got crystals in that shop. Ooh, this one I got off of Etsy. This is a Dalmatian Jasper. I want a big one of this as well. But I just thought it was so pretty. It says Dalmatian Jasper is a wonderful stone to work with those who are overly analytical. Cleanses the aura and other any other dysfunctional energies. It says it's a great stone that aids you to break down barriers that you have created as protection around yourself. So that's cool. I didn't know that. I just thought it was pretty. <laughs> I wanted to, I just want a tower of all the crystals I love. I want big old ones, big old chunks of them. And then some random ones. I have no idea what they are or what they do. My mom gave me this one. Um, it's a very sparkly like brown heart, which I love. It's so cute. Um, I think this is just a clear quartz situation that I leave on my windowsill. And I think this is a piece of jade something. I don't know. It's just a really fun, bright pop of color. But okay, guys, that was my crystal collection. Let me know if you have any questions. I would like to know your favorite crystal. If you're into crystals, I do want to like get more into them, know more about them. And I would like to check out some of yours because I do want to add to my crystal collection. And like I said, if you're wanting to start getting into them, I would start with rose quartz. You don't have to start with a big guy like this, but there's so many options on Etsy. There's like rose quartz jewelry if you want to get into it that way. It's nice to have on your body at all times, um, but I also love obviously the towers for around the house. But yeah, I'd say rose quartz is probably like your best tiptoe into the crystal's life. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, you charge them in the full moon, you could cleanse them in salt. They're just fun and I don't know, it's just like a nice, a nice like energy booster, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that collection. This is actually going to end this week's vlog. It's actually the next week that you're seeing this. I think I already said that. So I'm gonna carry on vlogging, but it'll be, you'll see it in the next one. But I wanted to get this in this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And they have videos on crystals. So go look that up with your free two months. But yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.